we are in North Wales again near the Rinog area and today we're going to do a hike up to a secret boffy one we've not been to before so yeah today we're joined by Danny he's down there Mark Andy and Geraint so there's six of us in total there's Simon what we've done, we've parked two vehicles down near Cummunnock car park and the other two up this end near Trasvaniv. So we're going to hike to the, to the Boffy tonight, stay there overnight and then we've got like six mile hike tomorrow morning back to the vehicles at the other end. If you'd like to see any future videos of ours and our future adventures be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon and you'll be notified of any further adventures. Yeah, we're on the Cambrian way at the moment and slightly uphill I tell you what it's a tough start we haven't been out for approximately six weeks so it's the first hike we've done for a while wow. And there is a lot of mud everywhere. Hardly surprising really with the amount of rain we've had lately. Oh no, hang on, oh, nearly went. Jesus. Straight in. Still wet now, isn't it? Good job I got gaiters on. Bloody hell. Go that way, Simon, Hollywood. We've all got heavier packs than normal today. We're all carrying bags of coal, fire logs, and the obligatory can of beer or two. But one consolation is we're going to have lighter packs in the morning, which is always good. We love lighter packs. The boffy we're going to isn't an NBA one. It's a, pro it's a private boffy where someone owns it and they're trying to do it up and they got like a just giving page so when they get money off that they, they're able to do more work on it then so we'll um, we're all gonna give a donation at the end of it so yeah every little helps this is an absolute bog fest. My boots have gone under about five times already. There is a hell of a lot of water lying around. That's Simon's it. in the lead. So he's going the wrong way if he carries on though. We want to go that way. We want to... Up there. It's all well and good. With these two. Because this way is a little bit shorter of a walk into the bothy. Less ascent. We like Don't short. Over that brow. We like short and less ascent. We do indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a bothies down here. Is it near a lake or anything? No. Do you remember where we parked for the no wild camp tonight? I'm afraid. Full Good. Not like a molus cavana god. <laughs> yeah. You know that big out farmhouse we've seen yeah. down in the valley. Yeah. That's it. Is he? Yeah. Well, we park over there. just then? park over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Alan's doing stuff, isn't it? We want to make it exciting for the oh, viewers. Yeah. Yeah. We could have met you over there, Danny, it wouldn't be an issue like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
just go to this flat ish area boggy as hell the whole route is bloody boggy uh, out to the wind a bit and uh, if I turn the camera around and the mountain range over there is called the Arenigs. Mark's probably pointed out before that's the Trous Van Eve power station, Trous Van Eve Lake. So I'm hoping not too much more elevation as we head this way. If you look at behind me, there's two little peaks up there. Um, we've done a wild camp up there before with Danny and Mark. And one's called Moyle Penoli, and the other one is called Moyle Escavanagod. That's a lovely, lovely walk up there. Well, in fact, this whole area is just beautiful, you know. Uh, really remote, which we like. The least amount of people walking about, the better for us. We just make up the bothy. The end of my finger somewhere, are they? We haven't got a style, so a bit of improvisation. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> nice. Sticks. We haven't got a style, so a bit of improvisation. Sticks. I got tongue tied. <laughs> Cheers, boss. Alright, those French prisoners of war, they did a good job. <laughs> yeah, have a go picking that one up. How'd you get up? It's ridiculous. Turn, turn around, you. Yeah, and put your foot on that stone. And just drop down. So this is the heaviest, then mine, and you and yours, everyone else. Just make sure when you jump, you, you clear those rocks. You don't want to twist your ankle. like that all the way through it. Jesus. There's the boffy and that is a sight for sore eyes and very wet feet. God. I say that's the worst bog I've ever walked through and I've walked through a fair bit of it. Brutal, absolutely brutal. How many times did you fall, boys? Dry land, bloody hell. That was hell. 
Lord, you've shipped the, the heaven. That's the worst bog I've ever walked through. Right, Hands down. Time for some food, guys. So long, steak. I've got a peppercorn sauce and some mushrooms. Mushrooms is your skillet. Jet boil, yeah. Jet boil skillet. Bargain, twenty pounds. Is it twenty quid? Twenty quid, yeah. Of a guy called Dean. <laughs> Um, if you're watching Dean, thanks a lot mate, first time we're going to use this tonight, Mark and Scott, fillet steaks, fillet steaks, and mushrooms as well, I think, you mean mushrooms, mushrooms there, so yeah, bit of a feast in the boffy, awesome. Yeah, it would be Swimming all right. Very, very Well, it wasn't a fog, it was not quite some. It had And, uh, you know, the Oh, yeah, my granddad's from there. Oh, yeah, I've got family. Come on, The star of Pope, right? Yeah. It's the name of the house, so it's now. Then, bit of seasoning. I don't think it was an off-license anymore. You've got pepper on one end. And I was going to sell it. And salt on the other end. I was only about six or seven. It's got to be done. Uh, she used to tell the stories. She died in the development. Can not have any season meat? There you go. There you go. With deliveries. But she was... It was like the arse end. It was so much better than this. It was really good. It was a fire like that. No sense to me. Well, I haven't done the northern ones, I haven't done them. Both, no, I am not. No! <laughs> <laughs> Save the stick no. off your lemon. Damn, it's all going wrong today, mate. It's all going fucking up. Pizza. Pizza. Any kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I keep on a Friday. Stickers now go. <laughs> he don't know what he's doing. He don't know what he's doing. Put it straight on. Case it melts for something. Mm. It'll bag in front of the fire. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Well, I won't be. Well, and yet there's a couple of roads within it, and uh, I just like COVID. You can't go anywhere, can you? So I just, I just Drop walk them. anywhere. Just Happy to see. Oh, that smells delish. Oh, delish. This is really. Have you put red wine in that? Stew. Have you put red wine in the stew? Yeah. What's the verdict? Oh. I don't know, but can you see the mess he's made in his shorts? <laughs> <laughs> Just zoom the camera to his front. I think he's pleased to see you. Nice man. <laughs> he must have that wooden thing off the door. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. There it is. Right. My food's almost done. The only thing different to Mark's, I got peppercorn sauce. So, yeah, it's all finished. It's just a good solid. It's Christmas. Yeah. Let's give us a try. <clears throat> you don't want me to come. I'm on another one with you. It's called chocolate mousse. It's better with strangers, to be honest. I brought it just in case. 
It is better doing yeah, that with strangers, isn't it? Paul's all like that. Yeah, we've done it a few times. I think we've done it a few times. I've done it in Mole's Tale as well. There's about your opinion, eight gold lads in there, two different groups. We'll give it a try. That was the thing that got me. The song with the connecting fucking. You go, 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 what I like about them, you go, you go, where are you going? All this. Really good. I'm scared to get them. Just make sure they're all in there. Thank God. Walk down. That was the first time I wore it to my boss. Walk down and go, fucking warm in here, lads, isn't it? Fucking great. Another one, which I go in regular. Lower Bridge Street. Out of that group there, whoever you were with. Maybe one of them. Right then, we're having a walk around the boffy upstairs. Simon's got this app on his phone called Spirit Talker. So we're going to have a look around now and see if it picks anything up. Right then. Right, let's go. Let's go to the master bedroom. We're going to go in here with this um, double bed. Oh, there's, there's a mirror at the window there, look. Is there anyone in this room with us? <sighs> Bloody hell, it's windy, innit? We come in peace, we meet in our hand. I wonder if anyone's slept in there, like. You know, re no, recently, I mean. Any, any vibes on the spirit talker? <laughs> Nothing is yet. Loads of cobwebs here, isn't it? Yeah. Tell you what, I couldn't sleep in here. It's a pretty, uh, it's a cold room, isn't it? And the wind is coming down there. Uh, down the chimney. Can you knock the wall? Like this? So, hang on. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. We're all here. There's seven of us in this bot in this bothy. Can you communicate with us? Can you knock the wall? Can you knock the window? <laughs> we have power. What does that mean? We haven't got any power, there's no power in this pot. So what does that mean? What's in the chest? It's all sleeping bags and stuff, I think. Some books on the shelf. Want to go to another room? I need to warn you. What? I need to warn you. Be interesting to see what it says next. Let's go to another room. Another... I've gone all cold now since then. You said that. What the hell? Alive? Yeah. What did you say? 
How are you frightened? No, we're not frightened. Sorry, where are you? Has it said anything else? What's in this room? A bed up on this edge. This place is freezing, isn't it? Oh, you feel a draft over there. Oh, I know, yeah. Oh, gee, I bet there's all sorts of walking Thompson. Out. Thompson, are you here with us? Did you live here? Did you die in here? Well, <laughs> I can see you. Somebody called fucking Thompson. Yeah, Thompson? They said, are you frightened? Are you frightened? I need to warn you. We, we have, have power. power. Hi, everyone. Oh, good lad. Good on him. <laughs> Whoever he is. As long as he's happy. Um. Right then, folks, we're all ready for bed. That's my sleeping pad. Right by there. Max on the bench. Gallons on the floor. The other Mark's on the floor. Andy's on the floor, and Danny's on his OEX cot, cot bed. Yeah, man. Barely. But he's sleeping by all the mice. No, I'm <laughs> moving it over. Now there's a bit of space. I'm going closer to Andy. I'm going top and tail. It's been a good night, lads. I see you in the morning. Eyes. Good morning from the Boffy. It's about half seven. Got the fire going a bit. Gonna pack up now and head back to the car. So I think we got a few hours walk. How many hours we got to today? Walking drink. About eight. Eight hours work we got today. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping it's about three. Or less, or less. <coughs> Welcome back to the Rinogs. And I'm outside the boffy now. Couldn't show you a whole lot last night as it was getting dark when we got here. So if I pan the camera around. There it is. Built in 1886. And I know that because there's a stone above the door. With an 1886 inscription in it. So yeah. Decent boffy. Just needs a bit of TLC really. And there's a lot of clutter in there, which needs taken away. And if they did that, then it would be a, a really good boffy. So yeah, as I walk to the front door, that's it there, 1886. We're all packed up, got our packs on. And make our way out of here. And started raining. How much more rain can we have? Like, just a little update to where we're heading. We left the boffy, which is over there somewhere. We walked up the back of the boffy, across all the bog, over in between those hills there. We were going to head over. Um, Renogvar, Renogvar, and then back to the cars. 
but one of the boys is struggling so we decided to go up in between those mountains there up on top and we carried on along the um we carried along the, the ridge over to here and then we're gonna head that way and then back that way towards the vehicles so hopefully another hour or so we should be back there's a storm coming in um, it's called Storm Fergus and it said it was around about 12, 1 o'clock and it's about that time now and the wind is picking up some big heavy gusts and we've got drizzle and um, we better get off this mountain Insane, isn't it? Storm Fergus is here. Woo! We are not far from the car now. Um, thankfully, we're off the mountain. There's a wind up there, it was horrendous, as you saw. Um, well, if you made it this far, that is. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.